Hey you guys, it's Ruby and it is time for another buffet review. We are in Henderson at the M Resort to try their Sunday brunch buffet. Coincidentally, this is also the most expensive buffet in Las Vegas right now at $100. We're gonna go see if the food matches the hefty price tag. Let's head on it. Just got seated here at M Resorts Buffet. Now this is at Anthony's Steakhouse. It's their high-end steakhouse here. It's a beautiful restaurant. And they have a $100 buffet. It is only on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 1.30. And you do need a reservation. They do very limited seating to maintain the quality. $100 is expensive for a buffet, but when you see what they have to offer, I think you are gonna see why. Let's go get our first plate. French toast. Got strawberries, it's vegetarian. Oh, yum. Bacon, oh yum. Oh, all right, we're taking all of that. All right, a beautiful Benedict. We'll take the one right in the middle. Look at that guy, gorgeous. These fingerlings look absolutely amazing. Fingerling potatoes. There you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Got our first round, all of the breakfast offerings. Everything looks delicious. I'm actually gonna start with the Eggs Benedict. I'm not usually an Eggs Benedict girl. This looks really great though. The egg is actually more of a soft boil than real runny. I don't love a really runny egg, but let's give this one a shot. I would eat way more Eggs Benedict if it, would, if it was always like this. So good. But what they've done with the hollandaise, instead of it being this like big slimy buttery mess on top, is it's kind of just baked into the egg. And that egg again is that soft boil, so it's not super slimy. Oh man, and then the, the English muffin underneath has a beautiful texture. It's kind of softened from all of the toppings, but it's still got a nice crunch to it. And then the Canadian bacon feels really high quality, so that is a darn good Eggs Benedict. I, I really liked it. <laughs> Let's try these fingerling potatoes. Seasoned really nicely. The skin is crispy and salty and then the inside is perfectly cooked and soft. There is a little bit of like a thyme I'm tasting and some parsley on the potatoes. Very delicate, very simple, but a perfect little side dish to accompany breakfast. Let's try some French toast. So this just looked like a very classic French toast. They had big pieces of strawberries in there. All right, here we go. Oh, that's heaven. Okay, that's so good. The batter has so much cinnamon flavor in it. And the inside of the toast is just creamy and custardy. And then the vanilla and the cinnamon are just like right in your face. Oh, so simple, but so good. Everything on this plate has been very simple and just nicely prepared. Mm, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have trouble deciding what my favorite's gonna be. Let's try a little breakfast sausage. I think this is gonna be Mr. Ruby's favorite. Never mind, it's my favorite. Oh, is that delicious. I'm not usually a fan of breakfast sausage. I don't love like the snap that sausage sometimes has, but this, the casing is like buttery. It's like melting and then the inside sausage is so soft and a little crumbly and it's seasoned so beautifully. It's just got so much seasoning inside the sausage itself. Wow, that impressed me. Foods that I normally am not a huge fan of are knocking my socks off. So super pleased with that plate. <laughs> Let's move on. So they do have an omelet station. That is what all of their eggs are. I didn't see any big vat of like pre-prepared eggs. They're all made to order and he can make you an omelet or whatever kind of eggs you would like. They had whole eggs there and then they had like omelet batter. We got ourselves just like a mushroom and cheese and pepper omelet. Let's give it a shot. Just a perfectly prepared omelet. The eggs are nice and soft, fluffy, they taste fresh. I'm getting a ton of that green pepper that is really coming through for me. And the cheese is high quality, it's all melty. You can tell it's like a freshly grated cheese. It's not too waxy. 
very excellent. And let's try a little bit of bacon. The bacon looked incredible. The breakfast meats are like out of this world delicious. The bacon is so good. The sausage was so good. I don't know if I have a favorite, you guys. Everything was just so perfectly prepared and delicious. So we are gonna finish this round before we get to the good stuff. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at these crab legs and these massive shrimp. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's gorgeous. What is this one? Uh, roast prime beef. And how many nails would you like? Oh, just uh, two, please. Two? Roasted lamb. Oh. You Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Beautiful. On to the part that you all want to see, meats and seafood. So we're going to start with the carving meats. Right away at the start of the show, Beef Wellington. To me, the fact that they are serving all-you-can-eat beef wellington on a buffet that you can just cut to order makes the value of this buffet go way up. It is a difficult dish to prepare, and it's expensive. So, like, I feel like we're getting our money's worth by just enjoying wellington with some of the other dishes. So I'm gonna dive right into that. I'm really excited. It looks like they prepared it pretty much medium, I would say, maybe verging on medium well. It's delicious. Delicious. The pastry crust is so fresh. You can absolutely taste the butter coming through. The mushroom layer has a lot of flavor. And then it's mostly just a big, thick slab of the beef. That is the predominant flavor, is that beef flavor. They did have a Bernays sauce that you could put on top. I didn't want to like clutter up the flavors too much on the plate here, so I kept the sauces off. But it's delicious. It's an expensive dish. I'm very impressed that they're serving that on the buffet. Let's try the prime beef. It's not my favorite. Um, it's not my favorite cut of meat to begin with, and the Wellington is just like so special and unique on the on the buffet that I'd rather just stick with that. They also have rack of lamb that they're serving, which is also, again, just incredibly impressive to be serving lamb on your buffet. They had a mint sauce you could put on it. I'm just gonna try it as is. Um, it looks delicious. It looks like they have a little bit of a crust on the outside. The lamb is my favorite. Wow, 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 wow. There's like a bread cheese crust that they put on the outside of the rack of lamb that is incredible and it is so tender and delicious and like coming off the bone. Wow, the lamb, the lamb is really impressing me. That's two thumbs up. So on that plate, I will say the lamb is what's blowing my mind, but the Wellington was also excellent. Seafood time, oh my gosh, you guys, they have big, huge lobster tails huge snow crab legs, gigantic shrimp. Let us start with the lobster because you just do not see lobster tails on a buffet very often. So let's give this a shot. Right out the gate, I'll tell you guys that I vastly prefer crab to lobster, but the lobster here is excellent. It's soft, the meat is really coming through. There's a ton of meat inside of the tail. It's buttery, I'm tasting a little bit of parsley. Uh, chewy, a little sweet. So if you are here for lobster, you're not gonna be disappointed. They're just like serving these out like crazy. So all you can eat lobster tails with beef wellington, there's your 100 bucks right there. Uh, it is time for the massive shrimp test. As we know, I don't eat shrimp, so Mr. Ruby is going to tackle a gigantic piece of shrimp. Delicious. We got it delicious. Sauce. <laughs> I think there's sauce up there. Yeah. We'll get you some. <laughs> he said it's delicious. We'll get him some sauce. Let's move on to these delicious looking crab legs. I mean, they are huge. Beautifully presented up there. There's just so many. All right, got a good piece of meat here. So good. Snow crab is so delicious. I just vastly prefer it, but man, are these delicious. They're, this meat is so sweet, it's so, so sweet. So this round alone, I think you guys can see like 
the value. The lamb is probably my favorite thing I tried out of everything, and then the crab legs would be a close second. Very delicious. We have to finish all of this. There's still more food to try. All right, we're going for old rock and cauliflower, vegan and gluten-free. Try that. And then we will get asparagus, vegan and gluten-free. Butternut squash raviolis, are you joking? Oh. Gnocchi pomodoro. This one's vegetarian, as is the butternut squash ravioli. Grilled airline chicken breast. Interesting, look at that. Pretty. Grilled salmon. Artichoke hearts, ragu, and beurre blanc. Gluten free. Stopped over at the other hot station. A lot of stuff was labeled gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian. So they had a wide variety for people who have different dietary needs. Let's start with this cauliflower au gratin. So like au gratin potatoes, but cauliflower instead. Ooh. I definitely want some of this crust. It's good. It tastes like cauliflower with some cheesy, crunchy crust. Nothing crazy. Look at me, I'm eating vegetables. I'll try the asparagus next. I don't know why I couldn't remember what asparagus was called. Mmm. Mm. The asparagus is yummy. It's roasted and it's like really bringing out the sweetness of that vegetable. And we've got a really nice flavor to it, some spice. Mmm. Skip the cauliflower, go for the asparagus. That's delicious. Ooh, I really liked that. <laughs> Let's try some of these uh, pasta dishes. There's a gnocchi pomodoro. Pomodoro is tomato sauce. Mm. Delicious, simple. Gnocchi are those soft potato dumplings. Nice and creamy. The tomato sauce is very fresh tasting. Tart, really like tart flavor. It's nice. That's a good dish. Um, butternut squash ravioli. I love butternut squash ravioli. Haven't had a lot of good ones here in Vegas, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's try this one and see how it is. Now it's delicious, but it's not a butternut squash filling, it's got a butternut squash sauce. And the sauce is really nice. Little sweet, little bit tart from tomato, but then you have a cheese filled ravioli. So it's basically cheese ravioli with a butternut squash sauce, which I'm not mad at, it's actually very nice. Really good. If you were looking for something not meat, because there's a lot of meat on this buffet, this would be one of my picks. This ravioli is really yummy. Two more meats to try. Airline chicken. I have no idea what airline chicken is. We're gonna find out together. It's good. It's essentially just bone in, skin on chicken breast. I won't lie. Little dry, a little dry. It's probably dry because no one's eating chicken because there's crab legs and beef and you know, all that other stuff, but I'd skip that one. Let's try the salmon with burp long. The salmon is lovely. Completely falling apart. Super tender. Nice, uh, little subtle flavor to the burp long. Nothing crazy heavy at all. A lot of parsley coming through. Not getting a ton of the artichoke. I would love if there was a lot more artichoke coming through to that little briny taste, but overall the salmon is good. On this plate, I would go for the ravioli and I would go for the asparagus. Those were the two absolute standouts. We have to head to the cold section next. A little bit caprese with balsamic. Wow. Doubled eggs, gluten free. These are for Mr. Ruby. <laughs> pasta salad, also for Mr. Ruby. That looks wonderful. Rotelli pasta with root vegetables. Vegan. And some pineapple. Looks gorgeous. Yum. It's time for some sushi, my favorite thing. I'm scooping the tuna and then, let's see, what do they got here? That looks like California roll, I'll try one. But I'd also like to try whatever is going on back here. That looks like a veggie roll, I do like those. I think we're gonna be on our last round here before dessert. We are starting to get a little full. There are some things we didn't try. They do have soups. They had a salad section, bagels, and pastries. We grabbed a few of the cold bar items. So we're gonna try Caprese salad here to start. Now I have a weird relationship to raw tomatoes, but I'm gonna put that aside to try the Caprese. The tomatoes are actually incredibly fresh and not mushy at all. 
which makes it good, but I do wish there was more of the balsamic reduction on here. I'm just getting overwhelmingly tomato, and then you do get the cheese, but I would like to see a lot more of that glaze. I think that would add a lot more flavor to it, but it's fresh, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna try this pasta salad. A vegan pasta salad with root vegetables. That sounded really interesting. So let's see what the deal is. It's nice. There's a bit of a sweet tangy sauce um, coating to the dressing. It's a little sweet and the vegetables have been grilled and charred. So they're kind of like got a light flavor. They're still crispy. It's delicate, it's light, but I, I don't mind it, it's good. We have deviled eggs here. That is a Mr. Ruby delight. So we're gonna do the deviled egg test for Mr. Ruby here. No, I'm okay, you try. An excellent deviled egg. Good. I got two just I got two just so that he could have the other one. He would eat six if he could. And then we also have fruit here, which I mean is just fruit, but it was beautifully presented and I wanted a little bit of something, so I've got that here. But let's try what I've been waiting all day for. My sushis. Sushi on a buffet is not uh, always the best. However, they've been rotating like crazy over there. There's only a few pieces out at a time, so I'm hopeful. Let's try this tuna nigiri. The sushi is good, people. The sushi is good. They've passed with flying colors. If I can eat a rack of lamb and sushi, I'm good. So overall, these plates have been good. We are gonna move on to dessert. That looks like a cheesecake. I'm gonna do that. Boom. Let's get a pistachio tiramisu. Yum, two of my favorites. That's gorgeous. That looks like maybe an opera cake. And this is some kind of chocolate. Yep. Whatever the heck this is. Wow, let's grab that. Beautiful. And I think that's a carrot cake. Yum. Right on to desserts now I will say the table where it was presented was just so beautiful big ups to whatever sugar decorator did the sugar sculpture I made one of those in college and um, it, that one looks way better than mine did <laughs> they had an assorted pastry selection not everything was totally labeled so I'm gonna just do my best and guess um, I'm gonna start with this cheesecake this is like a domed cheesecake this is a really unique way to serve it but off oh, the crust looks really soft and there's like a raspberry glaze over the top. Let's try it. That's delicious. Holy cow. Mm. The crust is like a sugar pastry and it's like falling apart. Like as soon as it's in your mouth, it kind of starts melting into the sugary deliciousness. And then you have the just cream from the creamy cheesecake. Not too sweet. The glaze is just like a little sweetness. It's, it's lovely. Let's try this chocolate tart thing. I'm not even sure what this is, but I think it's like a little chocolate tart. That one's nice. It's got a really deep, dark chocolate flavor. The crust is like a rich cocoa powder flavor. And then the filling is this soft, creamy, dark chocolate ganache. Very rich. If you don't like a lot of super sweet dessert, I think you would find this really decadent and like it. I think it was okay. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Go to these guys over here. Okay, opera cake. I'm not used to seeing opera cake on a buffet. That was kind of a fun surprise. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm expecting a hazelnut flavor, chocolate, a little bit of ganache. It's good. None of these desserts are crazy, crazy sweet. Ooh, on the back end, there's like a little bit of a frangelico flavor. A little like hazelnutty coffee. Ooh, that's nice. The aftertaste is delish. The sponge um, could be a little softer to me, like a little more um, wet, but it's good. I'm gonna give that one a three and a half out of five. Let's do this pineapple upside down cake. I've already made a mess of this thing, but let's give this a shot. Beautifully presented, I will say. They all look really lovely. That one's pretty good. The pineapple could be a little more like sweet, sour. The fresh fruit, by the way, on the buffet was so incredible. Um, there's like a layer of nice soft gooey cake and then underneath actually has like a white chocolate layer to add a little bit of crispness so it's not just mush. Um, it's got lovely texture and I like how they've built it. I just think the pineapple flavor could come through a little bit more. I'll give that one a three out of five. Let's try this carrot cake. 
I've had some pretty mediocre carrot cake on buffets. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it. it's like one they just throw on. I don't know. But let's see if this one's really good. It's fine. I just feel like carrot cake on buffet is just never quite right. And I don't love that one either. So I'm going to give that one a 2 out of 5. This little swan is presented so beautifully. I think it's like a little cream puff. Um, he's adorable. Let's see how it tastes. That's good. The pot of shoe puff is perfect. It has an excellent texture. It's got a little bit of crispness. The filling has got something unique in it. I don't know if it's like a cinnamon flavor going on. Something is really like, mmm. I can't even place what it is, but it's very sweet and delicate. There's a custard inside the cream puff. And then there's like a fluffy light whip topping on top. That one was lovely, I really liked that. I'm giving that a 4.3 out of five. That was good. So the cream puff and the cheesecake are killing it right now. Tiramisu, but not just any tiramisu, a pistachio tiramisu. I love coffee and I love pistachio. So don't let me down pistachio tiramisu. I have high hopes for you. That's really good. Four out of five. So uh, for these, I think the cheesecake is the clear winner, but I really do like that cream puff. That was good. And the tiramisu was good too. The other ones I could take it or leave it, but. Just finished up with the M Resort Buffet at Anthony's. And I have to say, I thought it was well worth the $100. The rack of lamb and the snow crab legs were some of the best I've had in a really long time. And a lot of the dishes were really high end. The breakfast even really impressed us. Now, this place is pretty much booked solid. However, they get cancellations and no-shows all the time. So, check open table, call in and see if there were any cancellations. I've also heard you can try to walk in and see if they will seat you. So those are a few tips for you guys. Overall, we were pretty blown away. I thought it was great. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and if you would check this one out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys all in the next one.